Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to do a complete backup of your entire four score library. I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how do you save all of the scores, the set lists, the annotations, even the metadata, like the composer or genre information that you've put in, and even the settings that you've been using in four score. This is so important because what four score calls a backup isn't the best choice. What they call a backup doesn't even include the scores, which to me is the most important part of a backup. And since I've been blessed with a new iPad, I'm even gonna show you how do you take all of the old files on your old iPad and put them on your new iPad. And you're gonna wanna make sure you have this method in case anything were to happen to the old iPad, you could still put them on the new iPad. Or even if something were to happen to your iPad and needed to do a factory reset, you'd be ready to go and put your four score information back on the iPad after your factory reset. And for hanging out with me today, I have a free music theory survival guide. Just go to joshring.com slash free. Wherever you're at in your music journey, you'll find it super helpful. So again, joshring.com slash free. All right, so here I am on the old iPad. And just to show you how many scores I have, if I go to the top left to this kind of score pane, you can see I have now 2,740 scores in here, right? So that's a lot. I wanna make sure I can transfer all of those well. The other big thing is I have a lot of settings I've been working here. So in annotation mode, you can see I have a lot of different pens and highlighters and markers that I've been working to set up perfectly for what I want. So I wanna make sure I can transfer those as well. So what I'm gonna do is go to the top right to the toolbox. And if I scroll all the way down, I have here backup. So let's open up backup first to show you what's in there. So in the backup pane, you can see I have a few things already here that I've already backed up. Uh, so if I do plus, this will do a new manual backup. So when I do this, there's some really important inf information here you don't wanna gloss over. So the backup, what they call a backup is just like the metadata, like the, the score information, the composer, those kinds of things, and the annotations, the set lists, some settings. Uh, which is important, but I would argue the most important thing is the archive, which also includes each of the scores. So all of the documents that you have in here. So to be honest, this is what you really want. The backup, yes, could be helpful, but to have all of the scores, all of the information you've been working really hard to save, you're gonna do create archive. So you can see it's been thinking uh, at this top, there's gonna be a bar going all the way across. You can see my last archive was 3.9 gigs. So that's quite a bit of time to uh, get it all ready uh, for the archive. So once your archive is done down here, you're gonna then close out of this and we're gonna put it in a cloud storage system. So what we would do is go to the services pane. You might have to include files here. So if you click on this plus sign, There'll be files and then Dropbox and this other uh, option here. Uh, so what you wanna do is go into files here and here is where you're going to upload that new archive you've made. So once you click on upload, this screen will appear and you can choose what you're going to upload. Is it just gonna be a piece or are you gonna go all the way over here to backups and when you click on that, you have the option of there is your latest archive. All right, so you're gonna click on your archive and once that's selected, and if you wanted to select more things, you could do multiple things, but the archive has everything from set lists to annotations to metadata and all of the scores that you have. So you're gonna upload that. So it's gonna open up the file app that you have on your iPad. Uh, and over here under locations, you might have some other options you could choose from. So you could again, choose like from Google Drive or OneDrive, Dropbox. I'm gonna personally choose OneDrive just because I have the most amount of room there. And under files for me, I've made a folder for all of my Fourscore uh, archives and backups. So once I go into here, you can see I have uh, some that I've done in the past. So this is where I'm going to save it to. And once you've put that archive in there, you're gonna wanna go to uh, another device, your computer, your phone, wherever OneDrive is accessible. You're gonna wanna make sure it's actually located there that is actually uploaded to the cloud. Before I show you how to transfer everything to the new iPad, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps you spread the word so I can keep helping as many people as possible. All right, here I am in the new four score. And just to show you, when I go up to the uh, score pane, you can see it's empty. Nothing is here, no composers, no items, uh, no pieces of any kind. Uh, so what we wanna do is we're gonna go up to the top right and there's this toolbox. So when we go again down to the toolbox, you can see there's not as many options just because I don't have any pieces in here yet. Uh, so what I'm gonna wanna do is go into the services pane. When you click on files, then you can choose to now download that uh, archive that we had just made. So we're gonna go to download. So I had saved a special folder in OneDrive for this. So I have my here my four score uh, folder. 
And so under here, you can see this is that archive that we were working with. So when I click on that, I now have the option to open it. So let's do that. So now that we have imported that file, now we're gonna go back to the toolbox. We're gonna to go down to backup. So let's open up backup. So you can see here is that archive we made from the old iPad. So when I click on that, I now can choose to restore the library. So again, this would have all of the files and all the metadata, all the annotations that we have been making. Uh, I'm actually gonna to choose to import the settings as well. Since this is a brand new iPad, I don't have any of those settings that I've been working hard to create. So I'm gonna do that. And you can see up here, uh, the status bar, how long is it going to take? So let's see. All right, so there we have it. Let's see if we have it all. I go up to the score pane and you can see I have now 2,740 items. So everything that I had before is now on this new iPad. Uh, so let's pull up something. All right, so if I pull up this score, if I go into annotation mode, I can see now I have all of those pens and things that I've been working hard. So all my settings did cross over as well. So that's how you can do a complete backup manually of your Foursquare library. And so you can see this is super important to be backing up your Foursquare library somewhat regularly and do it this manual way and save it to the cloud in case anything were happened to your iPad, you'd have it ready to go saved on the cloud. But Foursquare does have a way to do this somewhat automatically. So let me show you how to do this through a method they call sync, which saves everything to iCloud. And with this method, it's gonna take up a large chunk of your iCloud storage. And if you're like me, I don't have a ton of storage on my iCloud, so I don't typically do this myself. But let me show you, in case you are lucky enough to have plenty of iCloud storage, how you can do this somewhat automatically through Sync. If we go to the toolbox again, scroll down uh, to now Sync. If we open that up, this is a way to sync with iCloud and have it automatically do some things. So what all of this is saying is, are you gonna prefer what's on this device? So this device is the master that's going to the cloud or is this device going to prefer what's on the cloud? In the iCloud uh, will be the master version and it will overwrite anything you do on this device. So uh, if this was your main iPad, I would choose the preferred device. If you have multiple iPads for some reason, I would uh, choose prefer the iCloud version on my secondary iPads. And so once you've set up the sync, you can go into storage here. So this is saying, I'm not going to back up my scores, right? It's not gonna save the documents. It's gonna save everything else. It's gonna save the annotations, your metadata, like the composer information, the set list, but it's not going to save the scores. So this would just save you a ton of space and a ton of room. And personally, I don't have a lot of iCloud storage and I'm not gonna splurge and spend more money to have more iCloud. Uh, so I'm just gonna do it manually since I have uh, plenty of space already on OneDrive. And again, I would suggest doing it both, the manual way and the automatic way. That way you'd have it saved on iCloud and some other cloud storage. I would do a second cloud storage in case something were to happen. You could, would be sure you would have all of the hundreds and thousands of scores that you would have available. All right, thanks for hanging out with me today. Please don't forget to go to joshring.com slash free for your free music theory survival guide. And in the comments below, let me know if there's anything I can help you with for a score. Do you have any questions on how to transfer this, how to do a complete archive backup on your iPad? So thanks, have a great day.